Hi guys and welcome back, it's Rog here once again. And well, tonight we're gonna to have something really special. Well, it's special for me and special for us anyway. Uh, chicken goujons. They're gonna be really crispy, crunchy and full of flavor. Now for these goujons, we're gonna need, obviously, some chicken. I've got some lovely fresh chicken breasts here. I've got three of those. I've got two eggs, bread crumbs. These have been whizzed up in our food processor. We're gonna need some flour. This is self-raising, but it doesn't really matter, you can use plain if you so wish. We're going to need some seasoning, got some pepper here and some salt and we're going to need three bowls, magical little bowls to do our uh, recipe with. So yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so we'll start with our bowls. So I'll get bowl number one here and in that bowl I'm going to put some flour. Then in that flour, I'm going to put some seasoning. Now, I'm going to need quite a bit of seasoning, really, because when you think about it, this is going to get watered down with the amount of flour that's in there. So you want it a worthwhile amount, really. So we put plenty of salt in there and a fair amount of black pepper in that dose. It's freshly cracked black pepper. Then we're going to give that a little mix like so and then move on to bowl number two so in bowl number two we're going to have our eggs i'm going to use two eggs that'd be fine one and two give these a whisk up And then move on to bowl number three and of course bowl number three is going to house our bread crumbs then again we're going to do the seasoning plenty of salt nice fresh sea salt well I've done that fresh been around for 75 million years and some pepper lovely jubbly and we're going to cut the chicken into these nice little slices about like this i'd say about a bit more than half an inch but not quite an inch if you like and we're going to do all of these really nicely like that now they've all been cut up I can move this board out of the way and come back with our bowls there we go we're going to take our chicken goujons one at a time using my right hand only I'm going to go into the flour, into the egg wash, into the breadcrumbs, and then with my left hand, cover this with breadcrumbs and pop it on our plate ready to be cooked. Done the second one, right hand only, into the flour. Now you may ask, why right hand only? Well, the idea is, then we go into the egg wash. Yeah, the, egg, the idea is that you don't get quite so sticky. Still get sticky, but not quite so sticky. Right, I'll carry on and get all of these done. There they are, all done and all ready to be deep fried. On the hob we've got a pan with vegetable oil, hopefully at the right temperature, but a good way of always testing this, take a little bit of bread, pop it in, and if it fizzles like that, then you know you're at the right temperature for deep frying. That being the case, we can take our first goujon, and then it go.
and pop in another one very gently. And one more, and we'll leave it at that. Because what we're going to do, we're going to cook these off in batches. Um, that way they cook better and they'll be, you know, separated like these are now. So here we go. Nicely cooked, nice and brown on the outside. They're quite small pieces of chicken and a chicken breast. So that's going to be cooked right through. So we take these and put them on a bit of kitchen towel. And then they can just drain off the excess oil. And we can crack on and do the next batch. Now when they're all finished, they look like this. Don't they look delicious? All nice and brown and crispy. So it's ready to plate up. Three of those. Some homemade slaw. And these are deep fried halloumi chips. They're really tasty. Try them for yourself. I'm gonna put a little video up about these chips. and some sweet potato chips as well. It's all chips, chips and chips, isn't it? Makes a really tasty meal, look at that lot. Time for a taste test now, I think. Ooh, yeah. You can hear that crunch. Well, amazing. So easy to do. Brilliant. Got to do this again. <laughs> Tell you the truth, folks. I've done it before. Please join me again on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.